in this. Let's see. Okay. I think okay. it is. Okay. So let's record. Yay. <laughs> All right. Hi. Good morning. My name is Hillary Strong, and I work for the Yavapai County uh, College and County uh, SBDC. We are the Small Business Development Center housed at Yavapai College, and we, uh, part of our team, our five-member team, we cover um, the entirety of Yavapai County. We offer no-cost business counseling services, and welcome to our coffee chat this morning. My guest today is one of our clients, Kelly Worthen. She is the owner of District 86, and we are just uh, happy to have her here. She's had a lot of success, and I uh, appreciate her coming on to share with us uh, some tools that she's using in her business that have really helped um, automate, save her time. So with that, Kelly, why don't you share you know, a few of the tools that um, you're using that um, have really helped your business? Yeah, so when it comes from just an entrepreneurial perspective, of course, there's so much noise online with like, you know, things that can help you and a lot of them turn up being, you know, these yearly subscriptions or even monthly subscriptions that, you know, in the long run, you know, those $12 little subscriptions, like if you have eight of them, they add up. So I have kind of made it my duty, especially with a very frugal husband to find free ways to basically just like find stuff that I can implement in my business, whether that's wanting to automate certain things or planning on social media or my email outreach. So there's just a ton of different tools that I use. And the simple ones that a lot of us probably have heard about is don't underestimate the power of like Google Drive, Google Docs, um, Google Sheets. Those are all free tools that you can use to keep yourself organized, track your hours, um, track your clientele and all of that stuff. And then there's also um, Flowdesk. I know that some of us are kind of new to Flowdesk, but it's basically an email software that I use. That is my email platform for my business account. So I believe that they have free options, but of course I have the paid one because there's of course different allowances that they give you when you have a paid option. So Flowdesk is a great platform to use when you're sending out emails. You can automate all of your workflows on there. <clears throat> you can make forms even that link off of your website with Flowdesk that basically start creating subscribers. So for example, for me, I have um, what's called a lead generation. And so that gets people that are interested in my services into my sphere for free in exchange for their email address. <clears throat> so then that then comes through into my Flowdesk account and kind of pings this whole workflow process. And it's just a really nice way to automate um, e emails being sent out and getting subscribers that way. Another tool I use, which I'm sure we've all heard about is Canva. I am obsessed. <laughs> I, I am obsessed with Canva. So I have the paid version, but there is a free version, and you can actually do quite a lot of creation yeah. with the free version as well. Um, it's actually quite interesting how much you don't have to be like graphic designer or even computer savvy to use it. It's very user friendly. That is like, there's no limit on Canva. You can make presentations, you can make social media graphics, you can make business cards, you can make t-shirt mock-ups with like your artwork on them if you want to go that route. Canva is unlimited. I love it. I will always bat Canva. <laughs> and what's nice about Canva is that you can upload your own images, your own videos, your own logos, all of that, and use <clears throat> the system. Um, I try to train everybody I can on, on Canva. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Another free tool that I am still kind of playing around with is called ClickUp. And that is a way to plan. It's basically like your virtual assistant. So you can plan course launches. You can map out your whole course on there. If you are launching a product, if you're launching a website, it's basically a way to stay organized and you can set it up with like a wireframe view, or you can even do um, like bullet points and lists and tasks and set due dates and deadlines. And it just really keeps you on track. That one is free and that one is called ClickUp. Another one that I just started using is called Calendly. And that one is where 
because I do coaching for my photography students. So that's where you can go on to Calendly for free, put in your availability. Like, let's just say you want to work two days a week. Well, you can block out the rest of those days, put the hours that you are available, and then send that booking link to your you know, possible clients, or you can even link it on your website or your Instagram bio or your Facebook bio. And then that way people can just go there, click and find when you're available and book with you. It sends them automatic booking links. It sends you reminders. It also sends them confirmation emails and that is totally autonomous. So you don't have to go in and set up like the back end of things and make sure that they get this email at this date and this time. It's 100% automated from the get go. And that version I still use is free. So that's just a good way to set your schedule instead of trying to chase people around and be like, oh, this is when I'm free or oh, you know, I'm actually booked here and then end up getting like a double booking or it's just really nice. So Calendly is a really good one. Yeah, that sounds amazing. How do you do that then with payment, Kelly? after they set the appointment? Do you have that linked at all or is that separate? Yeah, so basically the way that I do mine is I don't have, and it, it's just the way that I do things, but I don't have people pay until after our meeting and if they wanna go further, but you can set it up through Stripe and that is free as well. And you can just generate just a plain normal invoice through Stripe or PayPal and then send them the link that way. So that's another good way to get payment. Um, yeah, there's just so many free options. And I, of course, have learned by trial and error. <laughs> but Absolutely. It's, it's, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you know, a lot of times you're, you have so many hats. And I know that you do. You've been working so hard. Um, but <laughs> having some of these free tools and using them can really help the efficiency and time management. Everybody complains they don't have time. They don't have time. And, you know, I, I think some of these are just really invaluable. I use Canva all the time. Um, yeah. And another great one for social media, it's called Planoly. And that one, I literally go on there. So I do what's called like content batching. So I pick one day out of the month where I sit down for probably three to four hours and I look at the months coming ahead. I look at what do I want my people on social media to be seeing? So I'll be posting about the course I have. I'll be posting about a shoot I did. I'll be posting about the holidays. Um, and you can plan out your posts with the picture. You plug your picture in and then you can type up your caption, plug your caption in, and you can auto schedule it and it's free. You set it for if you want to post like two or three times a week, you pick the day, you pick the time, you hit auto post to Instagram, and then boom, it posts to your Instagram when you say there's certain like image cropping um, aspect ratios that you have to pay attention to. But aside from that, once it posts to my Instagram, then I get on Instagram. And then from there, I can click um, what's called post to other apps. And then from there, I can repost it to Facebook. So there's no integration yet that kind of can post to both unless you get the paid version. But for me, it doesn't bug me to take two seconds out of my day to jump on there and repost it to Facebook. Um, so that's, that's a great Kelly, the planning. Yeah, really? yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, used, I have used Later before and they used to have a free version. You could post up to 30 a month and now they don't have that anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know that you can upload up to 30 posts a month. Okay. And, um, of course with me and it always being pictures, if you do carousels, I think it counts that towards the 30. Um, but yeah, it's totally free and it's a right. lifesaver. That one is amazing. <laughs> well, what, um, so Tell me uh, more about the email. I know that you've created automation. Do you want to just speak to that a little bit so people understand really the benefit and kind of the work up front that you have to do, but how much time it saves? Yeah, so it is a lot of upfront work. So what I do that saves me time is, let's just say, for example, I made a course and I ran Facebook ads to get people to see my course. And then once they see my ad, it then sends them to my email. So the process of just the email side of that, what I do is I plan out in a Word document, email number one, what is that going to be? And then email number two, um, 
what's that email going to say? So you basically plan out these emails that are going to send out over time, which is nice. So you write them all up in a Word document, then you jump onto Flowdesk, and that's when you can start creating what's called a workflow. So you start with picking a segment and you say, when so-and-so subscribes to this form that you made on Flowdesk, and it's super easy, you make a quick form that says, hey, I have a course, here's what's on it. If you wanna join my live, subscribe below. We've all seen them. So then you throw in your name, your email. Once that happens, Flowdesk automatically triggers. It says, John Doe joined this segment. So then it automatically puts them into a workflow. Well, now they're in this workflow and all those emails that you just typed up, you've went in and you've plugged them in and you've picked what date they're going to go out, what's the subject going to be and who they're going to, which is everyone that subscribes in this segment, right? So once John Doe submits that form and gets in that segment, he then is on in that workflow. So it'll say Monday at 8 a.m., the first email go, goes out and then it'll say, wait two days. And you can even go in depth and put like, if they don't engage with that, start them in this workflow and send them these emails. Or if they click a specific link in the first email, it'll funnel them into a whole other thing. So it's a lot. And yes, it's a lot to understand, but Flowdesk, in my opinion, is the most user-friendly. It is the prettiest. You can customize your emails like on brand. Um, you can add images in there. You can change color. <clears throat> it's just incredible. But Flowdesk workflows for me have saved so much time because it's not even if you're trying to make money. It's just the simple fact of getting your audience to know, like, and trust you. Right. So it's, it's all about follow-up, right? Yeah. You, get, you work so hard to get the email mm -hmm. and then people just don't follow up. They just follow up maybe with one and that's yep. it. Yeah. And you can even set it to be like, for me, I have one that's 30 days out from when someone joins and then, cause it just puts you right at the back top of their inbox and it just keeps you in their mind being like, Oh yeah. Like I'm glad that I got this email because I really was meaning to reach out, you know? So, and once you do it once, once you do the legwork, it's done. Even now, once I have it set up, I can go in there and just reduplicate that entire process, but send it somewhere else or have it be there for something else. So it's really amazing. Once you do all the upfront hard work, it's just, it, just, what you it can flows, do. it flows. Yeah. And then you can duplicate it. That's, that's yeah. the great thing. Yeah. Well, awesome, yeah. Kelly. Thank you for sharing all these tools. And I would like um, to thank Kelly. And would you tell us a little bit more about um, your business and the services that you offer and how they can, uh, our viewers can contact you? Yeah, yeah. So I am a Prescott native. I actually um, went to Yavapai College and got my photography certificate. And then I went on to um, ASU and studied graphic information technology for a little bit. But I am one of those stories you hear about dropping out. <laughs> I never graduated with my degree. I went on to the lovely world of entrepreneurship and I started my own business in 2019 and it's District 86 Co. And we do interior photography and small business websites through Squarespace. So I basically serve realtors, Airbnb um, owners, VRBO owners, and anyone just really looking to capture their space, whether they're an interior designer, um, a realtor, a remodeler. It's been so much fun. I've traveled all over Arizona doing it. And I also do um, small business websites for a few, a few local businesses in town. And I'm really starting to focus on doing vacation rental websites as well to kind of offer that like doormat before you go straight to the booking site. So that's been super fun. And I am on Instagram. My business handle is at district and then the numbers 86co. And then my website is district86co.com. And my email is office at district86co.com. So those are a few of my contacts. And I just was so lucky to get on with you today and talk about everything. So it's yeah. so important. <laughs> I know it's been fun working together and Kelly does. I mean, if you have not checked out her photography, it is stunning. It is truly stunning. So check oh, out, check out <laughs> the website. Um, and then she does help a lot of small businesses with their websites through Squarespace, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
And uh, so, yeah, she's a native and, and uh, working hard. You've got a lot of other things cooking. We're not going to talk about today, but um, so <laughs> for you and all your success that you've had. Um, thanks so much for joining us. And I just want to remind everybody again, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we provide no cost business counseling through the SBDC here in Yavapai uh, County. And you can reach us at yc.edu slash SBDC. And, or you can call us at 928-717-7232. And we are here to offer technical assistance. We help businesses write uh, business plans, help with SBA loans, uh, help with marketing and social media, which is more of my background, um, lender readiness, uh, government contracting. So we work with people that want to start a business, who are in business and just need to need some assistance. So um, please um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And again, thanks, Kelly, so much. And yeah, uh, we'll you. see you on the next coffee chat. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.